Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This is a video that I think will be very useful for people. I've had several questions about it. So I'm finally getting around to doing it. Um, I've been so busy up until now. But I wanna do an almost two year review on my Saint Laurent, shoot, I think this is the small Lulu. Uh, or is this the medium? I don't know, it's like nine inches, I think, or 10 inches. I don't know, I'm terrible with that stuff. Um, this is how it looks on me. I, I I think this is the small, but it could be the medium. I don't know. Anyways, um, it's black calfskin with black hardware. I got this brand new in March of 2020. And when I first got it, I used it every day for the longest time. And then I would put it back into my ro regular rotation with everyone, with everyone, <laughs> with all my other bags. And then eventually I just didn't use it for the longest time. And then I had it, actually had it listed for sale for a little bit. And I thought, you know what, mm, why am I selling this? Just because I haven't used it. Let me use it again and see if I still love it. And then of course I haven't switched out of it. So yes, I love it. I'm not going to sell it. But um, I want to go over some wear and tear on it. And the first thing I'm going to say is that I store this in a glass cabinet. Actually, let me show you guys just so that you know how it's stored. I don't keep it in a dust bag or it's box, but I do have it in a glass cabinet like right here. So it's free from dust and stuff like that, but it's not airtight. This bag is my, is the bag that smells the best. After almost two years, it still smells amazing. <laughs> like a good, strong, amazing leather scent. Whereas, some of my Chanel bags that I bought brand new have lost their leather smell and I keep them in the same store them the same way. So I don't, I don't know why that is, but that's one thing I'm going to say. Another thing is I will say is that the leather has held up really nicely. Um, I don't see any major scratches on this. I've, I'm currently using it now. Even usually the inner flap gets a ton of scratches on bags. This one has none. So this is a very, very durable leather, and I, I just love it. It's smooth, durable. The corners are clean. I don't see any rubber rubbing on the corners. The first year I had it, I used it a ton. The second year I had it, I didn't use it as much. So let me let me um you know say that. Um, I I don't baby my bags, but I'm um careful with them. I don't mistreat them, and you know so, but I'm not like over the top with it. One thing that I, I will note is that these creases here, you can see, now I do have it stuffed right now, so there's weight to it, but you can see these creases here have started to form. Now, when I got this, if you go back and watch my video, because I did do an unboxing video with this, I got this off of Essence, that website, S-S-E-N-S-E, -S -E, I think it's a Canadian website, because I got, I got it for like 30% off. Um, so when I got it, it was scrunched in a box, so I was not happy about that, but I loved it so much, and I got a good deal on it, so I kept it, but from day one, it had that, so I I don't know if this has gotten worse or not over time, or if that's just how my particular bag is. It doesn't bother me because um, it doesn't really take away from the shape of the bag. I have it stuffed right now, so it doesn't bother me, and I do keep it stuffed with tissue paper and, you know, bubble wrap or whatever when I'm not using it. Um... So, but other than that, the shape is still the same from when I got it. Um, it smells amazing. No major scratches at all. This is a very, very durable leather. Where everybody always has the question is, how is your black hardware holding up? Now, when I first got this, I wouldn't run the chains through. I would kind of go very light like this to try to avoid any chipping. Um, but then after time, it's just not practical sometimes when you just need to really sling it, sling it over your shoulder or, you know, when you're in a hurry or whatever. So um, I stopped doing that so much and, and uh, I'm basically using it normally now. So um, I will say that there is slight wear on the chain part from running the strap through. Other than that, I don't see any other chipping on my hardware. Now, I don't know if I just got lucky or if, or if that's how these bags are. But if you see, my logo is perfectly fine. There's no scratches on it either. But again, you know, I didn't use this bag a ton and I'm not harsh with my bags. The little grommets here that have like the, the 
engraving on both sides, I don't see any chipping at all. The only thing that I've noticed, and it's very, you, you would never notice this unless you were looking for it. Um, in fact, let me see if I can find an example right here. So like the chain is kind of boxy, right? So on a corner of the chain, there's some black that wore off a little bit. And I don't know if you can see it in here. I don't think you, actually, you can kind of see it right there. That, it looks worse in the camera now than it does in person. See that white along the edge? It's just a little bit rubbing of the black off the chain. It does not look that bright in real in person. In fact, it just looks like a reflection of the light. So it does not any way take away from the bag at all. It doesn't bother me. And I'm usually someone that chipping on black hardware would bother me, but it doesn't bother me because it's so not noticeable. Um, I don't want that to deter anybody from appreciating the beauty of this bag because this leather is so amazing. It's so functional. It smells so good. And the leather itself is really durable. So as far as anybody that's afraid of black hardware on these St. Laurent Lulu bags, don't be afraid of it. You know, treat it nice. Don't abuse it. But it will last you. Um, again, that's the only signs of wear I see on the bag. Inside is perfect. I actually still have a sticker on this right here, which I should probably um, take off. Inside is flawless. Um, I just love that the inside flap is still flawless with no scratches. So, yeah, highly recommend don't let the black hardware um, turn you away. I think it's gorgeous. Love this bag. So functional. And um, that's about it. I hope you guys found my video helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.